What's up guys, welcome to your 119th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And just briefly, uh, before we get started, I, I just want to show you guys if you guys are having some troubles. Uh, also what we can do with this catch exception, because right now it's not really doing anything besides setting it to false. Uh, we can also set up a dialog where we're going to refer to the exception itself, which is called E, and we're just going to say dot, um, or we're, we'll set up a string, and we'll call this air. We're going to set this equal to e dot uh, to string, and then we can just basically instead of this uh, text here, we can set it equal to our air string, so we can get a little bit more information if if we are having a problem. So uh, we might change this to to uh, dang it, and then we just finish off that statement. And it, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're actually going to get our data from our database. So we're actually going to work with the SQL view, and again, uh, if you open up here, we have this text view, which we referred to as uh, text view SQL information. So what we want to do is we want to set up our text view, uh, the reference here, quickly. So we're just going to get that set up. So I clipped the video, got a phone call, so I'd pick that up. But uh, there we go, we set up our reference, and uh, now we have this text view that's related to that text view. And all we're going to do is basically uh, let's let's set up our method for the most part, and then we'll define it. So we have a text view, and then we're going to create our hot or not class, and we're going to call this uh, our table, or actually info. We'll call it info, and we're just going to say new, hot or not, and again pass in the context of this class. And now what we want to do is we actually want to uh, again just refer to our info, just say dot open. Then what we want to do is we want to create a string, so we're going to call this string info or string uh, data, and we're going to just basically say our info dot get data. So obviously we don't have that get data class, but that's what we're going to set up here. Again, just to get kind of familiar with how we can, you know, just create methods for the most part and use them. So basically, what we want is we want to return some kind of a string from this get data method, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set our text view uh, set text uh, to basically our string that we got uh, the data from if that makes any sense. So again, uh, we just opened up our hot or not class, got the string um, from this method that we haven't created yet, and then we close it and then we just set our content view to that to the information that we got. So let's just hover over here and we're gonna say create method get data and type hot or not. And as you can see right here, uh, it sets it up for us for the most part. Um, it sets it up for us. And now what we want to do is we basically want to um, create a string array. <clears throat> we're going to call this columns. And we're going to say new string array. And uh, within here we're going to say key row ID comma key uh, name ID or key name and key hotness. So those are again our three columns that we have within our database. All right, I clipped the video because it, it was taking too long to finish this specific tutorial. So I'll probably just leave it off at this point um, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.